Okay, uh, so this is Michael again, uh, the continuing PlayStation Network saga. Um, in the last video, as I told you, finally they banned me. And I spent all day today on the phone trying to talk to someone other than a customer service representative. So someone, you know, like a supervisor. They kept telling me that supervisors don't take calls. And uh, in the end, I ran Consumer Affairs and they told me to write a letter. Um, and so I wrote that letter, sent that to them. Um, I'm sure they haven't even read it yet. Um, and then I kept getting shitty and, and upset about it and trying to work out you know, what was going on because I hadn't hacked anybody and they kept telling me that I had hacked somebody. So I thought, you know, how can I get around it? And I looked online and found that there's hundreds, maybe thousands, or definitely know hundreds of other people who are having exactly the same experience and have been for the last few years, since before the PlayStation 3, 4 just came out, um, during near the end of the PlayStation 3's life cycle, um, before PlayStation 4, there was lots, of, and a lot of famous YouTubers, um, were, uh, there was four I found that lost their accounts, so who've got lots, you know, like thousands of followers and uh, were banned and didn't know why and never received an explanation for why. They were just told it was hacking. So I'll get right to the point. I got my PlayStation Plus account back and I got my account unbanned, which was apparently banned permanently. There was nothing that could be done because I'm a, I'm a black hat hacker or some crap. So that also meant my son's account was banned. But the ban is lifted because I got so upset and finally got this woman who listened properly and went and talked to a supervisor and then apparently he gave her a higher access level to see what the problem was. And it was because I was trying the other day when I was talking to a customer service rep and one of the idiots who didn't listen and I was trying to work out why my card wasn't working, which funny enough, it's because they do a microtransaction. I had no money in my account. So... Um, it wasn't, that's why it wasn't working, but none of them could tell me this. And uh, the same with the uh, downloads not working. Because one of the customer reps told me to wipe my hard drive, it wiped all the settings. And when it started back up, for some reason, the PlayStation 3, it wasn't putting the right settings in when you do auto settings for the internet. So this nice lady, I've got one nice lady, figured out both of these issues for me. So the downloads were working, the card I was sure was going to work. Um, and, yeah, and in the end, he gave her access and she said it was during this conversation about the card the other day, um, I, I told him maybe is it because I tried to change my email to my Gmail account at one stage. Um, and he said, oh, no, no, I don't see why that should be a problem. And I said, yeah, because it didn't work. I said, I tried to change it and it just went back to the, the Yahoo account. And, um, and that was it. No problem. So apparently today when I finally get it all sorted out, this lady tells me that, oh, it's because you tried to change your email and it didn't work. And I'm like, what? You've been telling me I'm a hacker all day. You banned my account because I told you I tried to change my email and because of your shitty system, that email didn't work. So you banned me and all day upset me and called me a hacker and I went on for 10 minutes at this woman about it and said that she better be listening because I don't want anything out of this I don't want what I want is for no one to have to keep to go through it and for all those other people that have been banned to get their accounts back because that's hours and a lot of money for people who digital who do digital downloads and when you take advantage of PlayStation Plus, all your saves go online. So I had none of my saves, and all the other people that are banned have got none of their saves. And this might seem silly to some of you out there, you know, but, like, this is my life. I, I, I have some problems, all right, that keep me in the house, and it's hard for me to get out and meet people, all right? So my online life is my social life. It is my... It's my, it's my, it's my people, my friends, and they took that away for no reason. I'm guessing other than customer service, one or maybe two customer service reps who were working in the same place, 
got shitty at me ringing them so often because they wouldn't fix a problem that one lady fixed in 10 minutes. And I spent... It was months, and I didn't worry about it because I could still buy things through the PlayStation Store. But it had been ongoing for months, and they didn't do anything about me not being able to buy stuff through my console. And then all the then I couldn't download anything, and then my card wouldn't work because I told me to reformat my hard drive, and and all these things went on, and they wouldn't help at all. And I think that's why I was flagged and they put up a flag as a hacker. And when she said that it was because you said something about an email, I honestly think that that's a load of crap. I think that that's their excuse for their customer service reps playing God with people's accounts. So you can imagine now, after seeing that I've been successful and that I wasn't doing anything wrong, how many other people haven't done anything wrong. How many other people have just got a little bit frustrated and, and, and maybe swore, not at, you know, or maybe not even swore, just raised their voice a little or got a little angry and frustrated because the customer service reps keep running them around in circles and telling them there's no fix for a console that isn't broken. How many? All right, and I would like to see Sony give back a lot of memberships, especially you know to those real loyal customers that give them so much promotion on their YouTube channels and spend so much money on their products. Come on, really. So in the end, anyway, I had to send a photo of my license with a reference number the lady gave me from the email account that... I wanted my PlayStation ID to be attached to. Are you kidding me? No. Right. So now me and my son can't play all weekend. I only get my son, like, I have him one week on, one week off. He comes back and we spend all weekend together playing. It's what we do, it's how we bond. And now this weekend has been taken from us by some shitty little wanker sitting behind a desk because he's shitty that he's sitting there talking to people all day and doesn't know how to fix their problems because he hasn't been trained properly. Now, I've been through all this crap because of... Basically, it has to be training. They're not, they're not trained well enough. And everyone, every now and then, like I said, you do, I got one or two, you know, and they are trained right, and you don't have any problems, and they fix it up in no time. Anyway, I could go on forever, but... Problem solved, and hopefully anybody else who wants to get their account back, maybe you can follow my example, and if you still don't get how I did it, um, message me. See if we can get your account back too. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening if you did. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said before, I've got other content. It's just music I play. Um, so subscribe if you like. Okay, thank you. See ya.